Well, we're just about a month away from spring, and I'm certainly looking forward to changing out of all of these dark jewelry <laughs> cocklers in favor of some really bright ones, if I can find them in the back of my closet. Here to help us know more about better ways to organize your wardrobe is consultant Lori Wynn. Lori, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, what do you suggest? Well, you don't necessarily need new clothes, but you need to be able to find all those wonderful items you already <laughs> have to help you pull together outfits and look great. Mm -hmm. So all of these organizational pro products that I recommend are able to be found here in the Valley at Bed Bath & Beyond. First, I'd like to start off with a jewelry organizer. This has several clear pockets, and you can take your high fashion jewelry, mm -hmm. your big chunky jewelry like the bubble necklaces, your bangles, put them in these pockets, and then hang that in the closet next to your items. What this does is it gives you opportunities to see more combinations of clothes mm -hmm. and, and outfits for you. Fair uh, enough. The next one is a, a, a scarf hanger. Now, I was guilty of this. I put my scarves in the drawer and then I totally forgot about them. Having them out in the closet where I was able to access them and, and th again, see more outfits, outfit possibilities, mm -hmm. then I was able to get more use out of these great scarves. Fair um, enough. This one is usually a, a, a shoe organizer, but what I actually use it is a, it's something different. If you have a belt with a big belt buckle or you have wide belts or wide elastic mm -hmm. belts, I stack these in here, again, in the closet so that you remember to wear them, remember to use them. Then also, I put my um, foundation garments, I put bras in there because they can get crushed in the drawers and if the cups get crushed, then... They don't work as well. That's Absolutely. right. That makes so that sense. keeps them there. Finally, the last one that I recommend, and I have 60 of these in my closet. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> these are the uh, plastic shoe boxes mm -hmm. to take care of those fine shoes. We spend a lot of money on our shoes. You don't want them to get um, dusty, get scuffed by throwing them in, in the bottom of the closet, and it keeps them organized, and you'll always be able to find that match if you have uh, shoe boxes for Nice these. that they're clear as well so that you're not looking at different shoe boxes that are exactly not see-through. Very helpful. Yep. Now, Lori, if people want more information, you do have a blog that they can check out. Where do we get a hold of that? I do have a website. My um, business is called uh, Fashion with Flair, so you can reach me online at fashionwithflair.com. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Again, Lori found all of the stuff at Bed Bath & Beyond. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming in. We will be right back.